humanity really needs more than anything else. It needs us to feel the steps of someone who is truly present and at peace. Humanity needs to experience the the rest of someone that's at peace more than anything else. There's no greater and I'm going to say this but don't make it a work there's no greater job than to bring to be peace in this earth to be love in this earth there's no greater thing don't make that a work even the ego will make that a work it'll start sitting to try to become enlightened or it'll start really working hard to bring peace that's when we lose it that's when it's no longer true peace So it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter. All of those doings will be an unfolding of this moment. The question really is this, are you going to be peace in the doing, whatever it is that you're doing? That unfolding moment, will you be peace? Or is it something that you still have allowed the believed self to, to linger and have its its agenda and its desires and and again understand I'm talking about the believed self it's the believed self the ego that will experience misery that will carry the mind energy and tension in the body and disharmony. It's all ego. It's just the believed self. Okay. So the difference is that the more you realize who you truly are and you're letting go of all of those beliefs that have, and, and the believed self is, is so layered there are so many layers of that belief self, mental attachments and so many different identities and you let go of one only to discover there's ten more beneath it. It's not, it's, it has in the twenty however many years that your body and mind has been on this earth, it has developed each and every day, layers and layers and layers. And it's, it doesn't require work to let them go. Matter of fact, it, it only requires doing nothing to let them go. It's rest that overcomes. It's the peace that overcomes. But the ego's life is found in doing. So it is always looking ahead, trying to accomplish something. That's the one that will find misery. The ego wants to find the love of its life and win it believes that it finds the love of its life, but it turns out that it's not the love of its life. Uh, it's miserable. It's heartbroken. Months of depression. Sometimes, even suicides, even, even people will kill themselves over that sort of thing. When the believed self is a strong identity in one thing that it does, and that one thing that it does is taken away, it is miserable. When the believed self is trying to create something, has is a strong desire, and that desire is not fulfilled, ah, miserable. The believed self is always looking outside of the moment for pleasure. It truly believes that if it's able to do this, it will be happy. The happiness comes but it's very short-lived, isn't it? And then typically following it, 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 the belief self, tries to come up with and create something more. 
And so everyone sets out, every ego sets out with certain goals, life goals. And they say, we want to have this much money and I want to have this house and I would like to have this car. And in our culture, they have you dream cast where pick the car that you want and the vacations you want to go on and the amount of money that you want to make and that sort of thing, right? And so when all of that happens, and if maybe the 5 or 10% that actually accomplish those things, when they have them, when they get each one of those things along the way, a little bit of happiness, but it doesn't last, it's impermanent. And it's just a surface layer happiness. So it's not, it's not even a true happy. It's not true joy. It's not everlasting. It's just on the surface. <laughs>